and Academy Award performances all around, this is the 2006 Best Picture winner, The Departed, directed by the legend Martin Scorsese. In this video, I'll be explaining the story for you so you too can experience this incredible movie. The movie opens with Jack Nicholson's character, Frank Costello, meeting a young Colin Sullivan. He takes him under the wing and starts mentoring him. Frank Costello is the head of the Irish Mafia in Boston. We see that young boy growing up to be Matt Damon's character, Colin Sullivan. He is seen graduating from the police academy in Boston. Right after, he goes to meet with Frank. Frank congratulates him, as we see they are still very close. We also see Leo's character, Billy. He too is training to become a police officer. Colin quickly makes his way up through the positions within the police. Eventually, he is able to make detective. Billy also goes in to discuss a position as detective. Mark Wahlberg and Martin Sheen's characters, Dignam and Queenan, turn him down. They ask him if he wants to be a cop or if he wants to appear to be a cop. Then they give him an undercover assignment and ask him if he's in or out. He agrees. We cut to the opening movie title and it takes us through his time in jail. Billy gets out on probation after an unspecific amount of time. And the first thing he does is he goes to his cousin to start making a name for himself in the criminal underworld. His cousin questions if he's a cop, but Billy promises that he's not. His cousin Sean takes him to see some of Frank Costello's men. Sean and Billy's Uncle Jack used to work for Frank. It's why Dignam and Queenan wanted Billy in the first place. Back with Colin, we learn their office's primary target is Frank Costello. Colin meets Vera Farmiga's character, Madeline, and they instantly hit it off. She is a psychiatrist for police officers. Billy and Madeline have dinner together and start to develop a relationship. Colin gets a hold of Frank, who he calls Dad, on the phone. He again shows his alliance to Frank, giving him inside information, proving he is actually a mole. Billy continues to try to make a name for himself. He's hoping to get in to a meeting with Frank Costello's people. Eventually, he is able to cause enough problems where he gets a meeting with Frank. They search him and interrogate him to make sure he's not a cop. Frank tells him he respects his Uncle Jackie, but he still has to be sure that he's not a cop. Sullivan and Billy both continue to work their way deeper undercover in their respective positions. Billy is shown gaining respect from Frank Costello. Sullivan is shown leading an investigation, but also keeping the feds off Frank. Sullivan tells his team he believes Costello has a mole. Of course, he is talking about himself. He plans to use that information to help him discover if Queen and Indignum also have a mole. Queen and Indignum are the only two that know about Billy, so Sullivan is searching for Billy. Billy speaks with Queen and Indignum. He is starting to lose it a little bit, getting concerned for his own life being undercover with a psychotic like Frank Costello. He says he's been under for more than a year and the time has come for it to end. Queen and Indignum tell him they are close to getting what they need and will be going after him soon, they just need a little more time. We see Billy goes to therapy with Madeline to talk about his work undercover. They seem to have a connection and he asks her for coffee. Sullivan leads a team against Frank Costello. He sets it up though so that they are not caught. There is a tense moment where Sullivan is seen trying to uncover the mole, while at the same time his team is trying to uncover him, both sides clearly searching hard for the other's mole. Frank forces his crew to give up background information, their full names, bank accounts, etc. He wants to take that information and give it to Sullivan so that Sullivan can use his police resources to uncover the mole in Frank's crew. Meanwhile, Sullivan's boss is having him lead an investigation to uncover the mole within the police department, which of course is Sullivan himself. Billy and Madeline continue to get together outside of the office and start developing a relationship. Madeline moves in with Sullivan but continues to cheat on him with Billy. Billy tries to follow Frank when he takes the background information to Colin. He tails Colin but is unable to get a facial ID. They continue to search for each other, but keep coming up just short. Frank becomes suspicious of Billy and continues to question him. He sets up a trap to try to get the truth. 
but Billy catches on and is able to avoid being caught. Billy convinces Frank he's not the rat. Sullivan continues his investigation. He sets up a tail on Captain Queenan as Queenan goes to meet with Billy. When they see where Queenan and Billy are meeting, Sullivan calls Frank to let him know. Frank's guys head to the location of the meeting to find out who the rat is and kill him. Frank's guys call Billy to tell him to meet them there. This gives Billy a chance to run before they get there and discover Billy is the rat. Billy runs, but Frank's men kill Queenan. Back at the office, Colin claims that Queenan was the rat. Now that he's dead, he can't dispute that. However, Dignam steps in and says that's not possible. Back with Frank's men, they continue to question Billy, asking where he was when this all went down, and suspicious of him because he showed up at the last minute. One of the men who was shot and dying tells Billy he gave him the wrong address earlier. He knows he's the rat because he showed up to the right address. But as he is dying, he says don't worry, he didn't tell anybody. The man dies, so Billy's secret is still safe. Colin takes Queenan's phone that he used to communicate with Billy. He calls the number as we see Billy and Colin sit silently on the phone with each other. Billy calls him back. Colin tells him he's now leading Queenan's unit and wants Billy to come in, but Billy just hangs up. They find the body of the guy who knew Billy was the rat. The newscast says he was an undercover cop, but Frank doesn't believe it. Frank says the cops are just saying he's a cop so that he doesn't look for the mole anymore. Frank and his crew head to pick up a drug shipment. The cops are tailing him, so he calls Colin to get rid of the tail. Colin pulls the tail, but he also purposefully gives up Frank's location and gives the cops a chance to bust him. The cops show up at the warehouse and a firefight breaks out as they try to bust Frank and his men. As an injured Frank tries to get away, Colin confronts him. Colin is pissed to find out Frank had been an FBI informant this whole time, giving away his own crew to the FBI. It's the reason Colin decided to give up Frank's real location to the cops to allow them to bust him. Anytime the state police tried to make a bust in the past, the FBI stepped in to squash their case because the FBI was protecting him as an informant. Colin, however, is mostly concerned about his own safety. He wants to know if Frank gave up Colin's true identity to the FBI. Colin doesn't want to be caught as the mole. He doesn't want anybody to know. Frank says he never gave him up, but Colin thinks he's lying. Frank tries to shoot Colin, but misses, and Colin returns fire and kills Frank Costello. Back at the office, everyone congratulates Colin. His secret appears to be safe. Billy shows up to reveal himself now that Frank is dead. He tells Colin he just wants his life back. While Colin is out of the room, Billy sees an envelope with the word citizens on it. He realizes that's his handwriting and that this is the envelope he gave Frank with all of the background information on it. The fact that Colin has it makes Billy realize that Colin is the mole. Billy decides to run. He ends up sending a package to Colin in the mail with tapes of him talking to Frank. The tapes reveal that he is the mole. Madeline finds the tapes and she listens. Colin tries to explain himself, but the evidence is obvious. She realizes he is the mole. Colin wants to meet with Billy. Billy tells him all he wants is his life back. But when Colin shows up, Billy tries to arrest him. As he is trying to take him in, two of Sullivan's partners show up. One of them shoots and kills Billy. He also kills the other cop. He goes on to tell Colin that he was also working for Frank. He tells him Frank was going to give them both up to the FBI, but now they have to stick together. As they are leaving, Colin grabs the gun and kills his partner. The cops caught Frank, but never found out who the mole was. Colin uses this as an opportunity to show the mole was his partner. He believes this will put an end to everything as no one will continue to search for a mole in the department anymore. Colin believes he is in the clear. We see Colin coming home from Billy's funeral. As soon as he opens the door to his apartment, Dignam is there waiting for him. Dignam also received the tapes from Billy. He knows Colin is the mole. Dignam kills Colin. The end. <laughs>